burning games mode. It's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. And I'm one of those who love it. But why do I like it so much? Well, let's have a look. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and today I'm just going to show you one replay of a Burning Games game. Yeah, that makes sense. So basically what happened was I've been doing a lot of live streams recently with countings and tuning with the subscribers and we've just been playing Burning Games and I have just basically been rolling out in this, the shit barn. The FV4005, the British Tier 10 TD that has a sort of autoloader. And you know what? I have had oodles and oodles of fun. And I was, I played this game the other day and I was thinking, well, there's got to be a way I can show this replay because it was just a fun, fun game. And a lot of people have been well, let's be honest, quite negative with regards to burning games. A lot of people are saying they prefer mad games or uprising, and I get that, I understand that. But the thing about burning games is, well, from my perspective, it's twofold. One, you get to play as a team, because if you don't play as a team, if you don't start healing each other, etc., etc., and sort of looking out for each other, you ain't going to win. Secondly, it's just fun. It's mad cap fun. And this game, I just had a barrel of laughs. So I've gone out, I've done a thousand damage, and I've been wrecked. Not so good, I hear you all say. And you're right, that is pretty pants, let's be fair. So I've got one life left. We're losing, but boy, is this game gonna change around <laughs> very, very shortly. And this is why I like burning games. Now, the one who killed me was this Leo PTA, so I need to hurt him. Simple as that. And in the ship barn, you can do that quite easily. And I played a lot of tanks in this mode, and I've found that, you know, high DPM, pretty nice to do. And I've also found that this wagon, or this ship barn, is one of the funniest tanks that you can use in this game mode. I mean, I've loved every minute of rolling out in this thing. And, you know, I was very dubious about rolling out in this thing, in this mode. But Stigia from uh, WLV, one of my subscribers, long-term subscriber, in fact, a veteran, um, persuaded me because he's a big fan of this tank. And you know what? I've not looked back since. I really, really loved it. I mean, okay, I must admit that rolling out on your Todd isn't exactly a fun game mode. But if you can go out in a toon, boy, it is. Uh, oodles of fun. I mean, I played in a in a live stream the other day and we had a counting on this game mode and I think we've got almost everybody in the counting near his damn it into the game. And we just went around being absolutely mad. You know, seeing who could do the most healing, etc, etc. And we just had great fun. I mean, I had we had Sarah, we had Yusuf, every good name is Yusuf. We had every good name is Speed, Kerfuffles, um, and a fair few others who, who, whose names escape me at the moment. And boy, we just had a barrel of fun. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to have fun with Mad Games or Gravity, because I have great fun in Gravity as well. And in fact, I have good fun in all the game modes that they bring that are special. Be it Gravity, Mad Games, Uprising, or even this, bur you know, Burning Games. I, I have fun because it doesn't affect your stats. There's no reason to be salty. It doesn't matter if you win or even lose. The most you're going to lose, guys, is a bit of credits if you lose. And aside from that, it's just a welcome break from the current, you know, rigmarole of the game, be that ratings, randoms, or tournaments. And it's nice to let off steam. And if you can go out there and cause mayhem like I'm doing here, then, and you have a, and it puts a smile on your face and it makes you happy, it's a good, good 
game mode. It really, really is. And it shouldn't be knocked because it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that what Rising or Mad Games has. It should be embraced. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah, and I loved every minute of the games that I played. Okay, some of them weren't fantastic. Some of them we got wrecked immediately. But you know what? I had oodles of fun playing this game mode. And I had oodles of fun playing in a tomb and seeing how many people we could get into the game. And that was the thing. I mean, playing in the tomb is much... This game mode really does come to life when you're a tomb. I mean, in this game, my tomb mate, Mr. Mario, basically was going around just shooting me to keep me alive. Um, because, okay, the reload on this thing doesn't really let you go around healing everybody else. But I loved it. I love this game and I love this game mode. And, you know, I do, you know, I just have fun doing it. And a lot of people have said, oh, it's not great. It's not a good game mode, but I disagree. I, I actually like it. And, you know, I've played it a lot, especially on live stream. I, I haven't played it on my own. I've only ever played it on live stream with tunes and with countings. And all of them were fantastically good fun. And you know, what have I done here? Oh, look at this. I've done almost 12,000 damage in this game. <laughs> I mean, this is why I love this game mode. 12,521 damage. Wowzers. Anyway, I get wrecked in a minute. But Burning Games, it's, it's not as bad as everybody is making out. It's actually quite a refreshing game mode. I like it. It's great if you go out in a tomb. It's, it's fantastically good fun. I've been Fujit. That has been my take on Burning Game Mode. And also my opportunity to flex a little bit and brag about the close to 13,000 damage I did in a shit barn. <laughs> I mean, that's just fantastic. So Burning Games, it's not as bad as you think. Seriously, it's not. It is a good, fun game mode. By all means, comment and everything below because I know, like I said, it's a little bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. Marmite, by the way, is Vegemite for those of you down under. And I'm one of those people who actually like it. So, as I said, comments and everything below. If you haven't yet, then why not press subscribe? What have you got to lose? You've got nothing to lose and it's going to cost you nothing. Apart from putting a smile on my face. Big shout out to my Patreons and YouTube members because without you, these videos would be a lot harder. And to my subscribers, because you know what? Without you, these videos would be utterly, utterly meaningless. Anyway, as I said, I've been Fujit. That has been a quick look at the Burning Games mode. It's about to finish anyway. Until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.